buy you a dream. Hello, I'm Mark Yarnell, and I have good news and bad news. The good news is, if you're listening to this information in 2007, you have around 15 years left. The bad news is most people will wait too long to take action. Those of us who found all this stuff out a couple of decades ago and took action are set. We got our big pile of money. But in a society where 95% of all people do not read one book a year, like America, the fact that this situation has been predicted and extensively written about means nothing, except to those of us who read legitimate nonfiction on a regular basis. You aren't going to learn this stuff, folks, on CNN or American Idol, Survivor, or Dog the Bounty Hunter. The person who sent you this information has joined an initiative that can literally turn your financial world upside down positively if you'll just call them back after you hear this message. You know what? For the last 22 years, I've not spent one day doing anything that I didn't enjoy. I haven't spent one hour in traffic, never had a boss, worked a job, owned health insurance, been in debt or worried about capital, never worried about cash. I've never been sued, never been fired, never been hired, never been bankrupt, never had a repo, never failed to pay off my credit cards each month and never paid a penny of interest to one credit card company that is since I learned the secret of principleless interest. Now, I've got no degree, and I never inherited a penny, but I read several books a month, so I knew what was coming, and I understood the secret of principleless interest, and so does the person who invites you to listen to me, to this little message. Once you understand the concept of principleless interest tied to a proprietary funding vehicle, everything changes. Sounds complicated? It isn't. Everything you touch turns to gold when you understand this initiative. No more gambling in the stock market where, as you know, an Enron can go from the cover of Forbes magazine to bankruptcy in three months. And by the way, take your retirement dollars with them. No more getting soaked in volatile markets like real estate, which, as we all know, is manipulated by lenders and interest rates. No more silly low interest savings accounts day trading, pyramid schemes. But listen to me, everything you touch will turn to gold if you just pay attention. Principleless interest changes everything. Heck, I never even graduated from college. I never took one class in creative writing or journalism, but once I learned the secret of principleless interest, I wrote a Random House bestseller that's still being sold worldwide in a dozen languages 10 years after I wrote it. Now, Is our initiative just hype or spin? Well, Bill O'Reilly didn't seem to think so. When I was flown to New York to appear in his famous no-spin zone on the O'Reilly factory, he sure was pleasant. He's one of the most conservative journalists in the world, and my ideas made sense to him. He couldn't argue with my ideas because they're factual. And believe me, as you probably already know, O'Reilly is a master at uncovering BS. I offered none. I told him the truth. Folks, listen carefully. If you have a way to accumulate and save $10 million over the next 15 years at at current money market rates, you can earn $25,000 a month in interest. That is, if your broker doesn't you know, lose it in something like Enron or WorldCom. But let's be frank. Where are you going to get $10 million? But what if I told you that you could cash flow 25000 a month in one year instead of 15 without one penny of investment capital. Now, I know, I know it sounds nuts. Hey, I'm from Missouri. I'm from the show me state. I'm pushing 60, and I'm as stubborn as an old Missouri mule. If something sounds too good to be true, I'm not buying it, and I want you to be skeptical too, just like I was. But I don't want you to be ignorant, and that is I don't want you to ignore this vehicle because you don't have the flexibility I had. When I learned about principleless interest, The experts predicted that we had 50 years left in the United States before the middle class disappeared. Today, the best minds from business, science, technology, and education, believe me, I read all their books, they're all saying the same thing. There's an economic tsunami right offshore, and in 15 years, it's over for anyone who isn't in the wealthy class. That's about, that's all about all of North America, not just the United States, Canada too. 
and Mexico. I talked to a noted Harvard PhD in business who's a best-selling author this, just this week. And I asked him what in the heck, in, in his opinion, Americans could do to reverse the financial and cultural spiral we're in. And you know what he said? This is almost verbatim. He said, it's hopeless. The young people I teach Yarnell and our MBA program are completely demoralized, and they're immobilized by huge debts from student loans. And the wealthy adults, the doctors and the attorneys and the accountants and the business owners who live in my upscale suburb are convinced that America's middle class is finished. They're throwing up their hands. They're listing their homes. They're taking early retirement. He said, Yarnell, we've been friends a long time, and I want you to understand some. We live in a cultural death valley of Burger King cell phone Prozac, violence, fundamentalism, and moral flexibility. Just shut up, enjoy your own big pile of money, and run out the clock. You're old enough to do that. Now, that sounds pretty bleak coming from a very noted Harvard PhD. Look, I realize we're headed for two classes, the ultra-rich and the ultra-poor, and I realize that the middle class is going away forever. But here's what's up. Anyone who learns the secret of principleless interest gets to join the ultra-rich. Ignore these facts, and you'll be just like our good friends in Detroit. Hey, 10 years ago, in the hub of the U.S. auto industry, 1.2 million Detroit folks had work, pensions, and health insurance. And today, 10 years later, 1.2 million of our good friends in Detroit are on food stamps. But hey, guess what? The presidents of GM and Ford earned over $25 million apiece last year. What's up with that? And by the way, the children in Detroit seem to be the ones suffering the most. Last night on CNN, Lou Dobbs acted shell-shocked to have to report that 75% of all high school-age children in Detroit flunked out of high school last year. 75%! 25% of the Detroit kids graduated high school. If you don't think changes are on the way, imagine America 15 years from today in which over half of all the people are turning 30 and are high school dropouts. What happens when 20 million adults turn 30 without a job and 20 million other adult boomers turn 70 without health insurance? And while I'm on the subject, permit me one other simple observation that can't be refuted. You can watch The Secret and affirm the law of attraction until the cotton-picking cows come home, but the odds of you ever winning a lottery ticket or the possibility of diplomas and health insurance metaphysically floating into 40 million American households just in time are zippo, nil. God made the birds and the worms. But he didn't go around dumping them in their nests. Folks, let's wake up. Just in case you've forgotten, the last time the New Age Flakes toured America on their little magical mystery tour, spouting delusions like the law of attraction, we waste, I say we because I was involved in this, we wasted years affirming our hallucinations of unexpected income and then the New Age flakes went home with a fleet of Rolls Royces. Listen, if you're going to read the book Blink, please also read the book Think. I realize that it's very easy to stare reality right in the eye and then deny it. But I suggest you take action. And, and I suggest you really research what I'm telling you. Check it out for yourself. Call the person back who gave you this information. For nearly two decades, I've traveled the world paragliding, trout fishing, and snow skiing. From Geneva, Switzerland to Sao Paulo, Brazil, from Queenstown, New Zealand to Lviv, Ukraine. I've spent quality time with quality people doing quality things. And that's not bad for an old Missouri country boy dropout. And the reason I want you to know about my lifestyle is not because of pride or arrogance. What I want you to understand is that if my life works because of principle of interest, so can yours. If I can do it, please believe me, this isn't false humility. If I can do it, anybody can. But it's about effort, 
not magic. Hey, I'm Mark Yarnell. I really appreciate you giving me a few minutes of your time. And remember, you may have 15 years left, but when a tsunami is coming, you best head for high ground immediately. According to the most authoritative thinkers and authors in America, in 15 years, the middle class will be completely gone from North America. It's already left 25 major U.S. cities. There will be an alternative ultra-rich class and an ultra-poor class. The gap has widened logarithmically, and only those with an ability to safely accumulate $10 million or create principalist interest of $300,000 a year or more will live comfortably. Everybody else will live in poverty and be forced to work several menial jobs. If you know how to save $10 million in the next 15 years, do it. If you don't, call us. If I could buy you a dream.